What's up guys? Here we are again. A little sweet outdoors. Back porch edition. <clears throat> In between showers. It's rained three times already today. It's two o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. And it's already rained three times today. And it's not done. It probably start raining before I'm done with this video. Who knows? South Florida. Today's video. We are going to cover an addition to your cook set. A very important addition. Uh, very handy. Very handy. Very handy. Necessities. But this one here can't do everything you need it to. And we'll get to it. Okay, your cook set, a pot, pan, uh, knife, utensils, water bottle, what have you. Uh, when, when packing your stuff, you want as light as possible. You want to get as much multi-use out of something as possible. <clears throat> when it comes to cooking gear sometimes that's a little harder to do because it has to be metal um, single wall none of that double wall insulated stuff won't work unless you're just talking about carrying your water somewhere <clears throat> there are systems out there that you can use that will do the best of both worlds. There are all kind of products out there. You've heard me talk about this here. Military canteen. The metal cup. Stick inside here. Got a nice little folding spoon. This right here will do pretty much what you need it to do. Carry some water cook you know boil some water do whatever this right here will work with that as well I mean you got a way to carry water and you can drink it that's a good combo to have I bought me a new a new addition to my cook set uh, you've seen my pot that I use in the uh, Civil War stew video hope you saw that if not go check it out I'll put a link in the description below to that video but that's all that came with it was the pot and the lid it's a great pot I can big quantities of food you know it's big enough for two people if necessary um, and that's more I look more for a cooking pot than I do a frying pan uh, but that's just the kind of stuff that I look I look to I have a small cast iron skillet I have an Ozark trail mess kit with a small pan I have variety cook sets but that pot is my main go-to cook set and then I bought this new addition for it so let's go ahead and get into it again I'm unprepared um, not sure of the name because it's not it's not labeled yes it's an Amazon purchase yes I will put a link in the description this is the Gearland canteen stainless steel water bottle with nesting cup and lid $34 that's not bad considering what you're getting okay you already see it comes in the bag comes with a nice bag here's the lid stainless steel got some drain holes drain your excess water off now this is just something that I put in there it's the k-bar spork uh, again it's an Amazon purchase uh, I want to say seven dollars what makes this cool you got a little knife too this is the ABS plastic it's perfect for a little mess kit for soups and stuff like that I just put that in there it did not come with it 
I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Okay, here's our stainless steel water bottle. I gotta go back to the phone. I should have been a little more prepared, you'd think, huh? I'm just looking for ounces here. The cup that I'm gonna show you is 25 ounces. I cannot believe. Wow. 40 ounce. 40 ounce stainless steel water bottle. Now, what is unique about this, okay, you got the wide mouth. You can cook in this because it is single wall. But the lid is removable. You don't want to cook with this on there. It will melt and it's ruined. You can cook, boil your water just like that when you're done. The lid goes right back on. And there you go. And you can take water with you. Does that come off? That does not come off. So, okay. There you go. 40 ounces. Here's our 25 ounce nesting cup. It's even got the measurements right inside the cup here. Nice little nesting cup. Put it right on the fire. Boil your water, cook your, make your coffee. Lid goes on there. Boil some pasta or whatever. You can drain it. You're good to go. We're not done. Check this out. This is this is one of the reasons why I got it. You hang it right over the fire and cook. You're good to go. Now, something that just crossed my mind. Let's check this out. Because I know that some of them will do this. Check it out. Boil the entire thing of water. You got boiled water. And all of this stores right inside your, your bag that comes with it. This is me personally what I would do. If you can make it fit. There we go. Now it's even more complete. Add a knife, add a fire starter, you're good to go. You got your nice little cook system. Here's your stove or hang it over the fire, whatever you prefer. That's a great system. You don't like the K-Bar Spork, throw one of these in there or whatever you prefer. This is just to give you some ideas how to make your cook system even better. Like I said, I got this for my existing pot that way i can cook some food heat up some water have a cup of coffee at the same time as i'm eating my food or have a cup of tea or whatever that way i don't have just one pot you know you want to have multiples of everything as much as possible anyway put the lid back in there all the way to the bottom let's put our cup in now there is other there is other systems just like this on the market for different prices the Pathfinder edition from uh, the Pathfinder school Dave Candeberry has a similar system just like this. It is a little more expensive. It's around 50 bucks. Uh, he also has a titanium one. Uh, I'm not knocking it. No way would I knock it. But as my channel, as you know on my channel, I look for the cheaper way. I could go cheaper than this if I wanted to. I could go a $1 plastic water bottle, a nesting cup, and use that to boil it. This system right here is cheaper than that. This is for my bug out 
this is for my camping overnighters. I just like to have multiple systems set up. Plus it gives me stuff to show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little <clears throat> this little setup here. Uh, like I said, the descript the link for all of these will be in the description. So you can go and check them out. Purchase one if you like. It would greatly help the channel, help me out. That's it, guys. Uh, while we're sitting here, go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification. Download and share. You know the routine, guys. Check us out on Facebook on The Sweet Outdoors. Uh, like I've told you in my last couple of videos, um, I will put links in the description for all of these products that I am showing you. Uh, however, I am trying to move away from so many product reviews because I have so much gear you would not believe. You would not believe all the gear that I have. I could go camping every weekend for probably, probably two months and never use the same gear. I've got that many. And let's not even talk about knives. Let's not even go there. I'm sitting here on my back porch right now and I've got four knives on the back porch just right here that I've done reviews on. I, I don't, I have too much. Uh, we hit 500 subscribers. If we hit 500 by the 4th of July, I will put together one hell of a gift box and I will pick a winner out of the 500. It'll be one good gift box. It'll be all of the stuff. It'll be a lot of the stuff that I've done reviews on. You can look forward to being in that, that giveaway box. So it's up to you guys. You got to get me there. 500 by the 4th of July. That gives you about three weeks. Let's get to it, guys. I know you can do it because you're the best on YouTube. I know you can do it. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, just wanted to bring you something before before my hectic two weeks starts. Like I said, my two granddaughters are coming down, so I'm going to be tied up with them. I will still try to bring you something throughout the two weeks, uh, but I can't guarantee you what it's going to be. I hope you enjoyed the fishing video that I did yesterday. Went down there to the Everglades, caught me some peacock bass. What a blast. If you have the opportunity and the means to do that, I highly recommend you do that. It was awesome. If you don't want to know what I'm talking about, check out yesterday's video. Check out my last video and you'll probably be hooked like I am. I can't wait to go back down there. With all that, be safe. God bless. Let's get outside, people.